Hey good fellas, it's great to have you here once again. I'm really happy because today I'm going to present and show something astonishing. It's a pattern of art 888 that I managed to purchase. It's not one of the newest pattern of art, it's actually the pattern of art from 2012. So we're talking here about the Joseph II 888 edition. Beautiful, beautiful piece that I can't wait now to unbox. Now, I received this piece yesterday, so I'm unboxing it for the first time here together with you. And I can't wait to discover it right now here with you. Don't forget guys, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content, leave a like and comment, and if you can, share the video. It's gonna help me so much to spread the word about fine writing instruments. But guys, let's start, let's go. Now, you know that the Patron of Art limited edition come always in this outer box, uh, white outer carton box, which you always have to keep, don't forget. Keep this box when you purchase, when you go to a dealer, ask for it and take it with home. And any dealer, any retailer, don't forget to keep this box in your store. Don't write anything on it. Just keep it the way it is because it's part of a collectible item. Let's do it this way, guys. Let's discover the Patron of Art from 2012. An homage to Joseph II, the Roman Austrian Emperor, let's call him this way, which was an incredible pattern of art, which had very innovative ways of thinking, which opened up to other religions, had, an, had a certain way of approaching life and being a king being an emperor. Now, Joseph II was born in Schönbrunn, uh, Schloss Schönbrunn, so it's the castle Schönbrunn, which is um, based, if I'm not wrong, near Bien. So if, you look, if you've seen a little bit of Schönbrunn castle, it's absolutely marvelous and it just talks beauty and it talks aesthetic. So there's no wonder that Joseph II had a certain touch and feel for beautiful things and this can be seen extremely well on this edition. Now, this edition came like every, every year as a 4810 edition and as an 888. And we have the chance here to discover the Joseph II limited edition 888. Now, we gotta unbox this together. Identification number 110, 2388. It's incredible, I managed to get and purchase one of these pieces for my store. I did it because I really want people to discover and see the beauty also of the older edition. So anytime I can and uh, I make it, I always try to have these kind of pieces. By the way, you I don't know if you've seen my uh, live streaming video I did on Saturday. Uh, you can see it on my IGTV. I'm gonna leave my Instagram account uh, in the description. Uh, and there you will see the Moctezuma 888, which is the newest pattern of art, uh, which is also absolutely a stunner and really impressive and statement piece. But let's go away from that. I just wanted to um, give you an insight if you want to see something more than the Joseph II. Uh, I received also the Steinway. Uh, I received an Hitchcock, which is one of the most beautiful, great characters. Uh, I have an Adrian 888 here. So there's a lot of things I'm gonna show you guys here on my channel. It's all about showing you extraordinary items. Now guys, Joseph the second. Have a look at this beauty. Incredible weight. Incredible, incredible weight. So we have here on this beautiful edition the number 
49 of 888 pieces in the world. You will see that there is this crosses which symbolizes the knighthood of that empire of Joseph II with this beautiful blue, very deep blue translucent lacquer mixed with the white translucent lacquer right next to it with the crosses that are made in sterling silver and the other metal parts like the clip is made in white gold so you can see the description here a u au aurum uh, in latin for for gold 750 there is all the poinçon you need underneath it's ag argento 925 so shows that the underneath part are in sterling silver and the upper part like the clip is made in actual solid 18 karat gold now let's discover the beauty of this nib really astonishing guys so we have a beautiful engraving with the actual flag of the family and there's not so much to say about it beside the flag it's just an astonishing i want you here to really discover and enjoy the beauty of this piece you have on the top of the cap mother of pearl mont blanc emblem which is very deep is a natural material and i mean it's just really to be discovered the beauty of this piece has to be discovered all the time and in each way each sense i'm shooting you here some absolutely beautiful details so guys obviously we're not gonna do a nip test of this one I'm really wondering to hear what you think about the Joseph II and if you had a chance to have this specific piece in your hands. Uh, I think these 8, 8 editions are just little pieces of art and they really need to be discovered and seen in order to be understood and to understand the beauty of this kind of pieces. So for me, I'm here to give you the chance to have an insight into this, to give you some nice quality footage of these pieces and then after this, I want to hear your opinion and I want to hear what you like about this specific pieces. So guys, don't forget to let me know in the comments uh, your opinion on it. Share this content, show this piece to your friend because it's something extraordinary. We're talking here, guys, by the way, about a price point near to 9,000 Swiss francs, 9,000 US dollar, 8,500 euros. So we're at a very high price point, but only 888 editions in the whole wide world so it's a piece that just goes sold out i think even now you cannot just find the joseph II, and this makes it really um, a beautiful and and one of a kind piece and also there's high-end materials on it so there's uh, there's gold there's uh, the lacquering there is uh, the uh, there is the silver and there is really a silversmith, a goldsmith working on each single of these 888 editions. So there's so much work behind, there's so much conceptual work, research and development behind this piece and that's what sets the price. But obviously guys, once you go for a pen like this that is sold out, there's always going to be people who are searching for it on eBay, on any, um, one, on any of these platforms, maybe at retailers. So there is a good value for this kind of pieces. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you very soon with new content, more content with new pieces. Stay tuned also on my Instagram channel where you're going to have some sick shots of some beautiful pieces. And I'll see you next time. See you soon.